Hi guys, happy Monday. I just wrapped up the Brain Health Professional course this weekend under Dr. Amen. One of his favorite quotes, I love it. It's, with a better brain comes a better life. Brain health is a crucial aspect of overall well-being and it involves maintaining the optimal function of your brain throughout your life. It encompasses various factors including cognitive function, emotional well-being, and the prevention of neurological disorders like Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder that primarily affects memory, thinking, and behavior. It is the most common cause of dementia among older adults. The exact cause of Alzheimer's disease is not fully understood, but it is characterized by the accumulation of abnormal protein aggregates such as beta amyloid plaques in the brain. So today I wanna to talk about some key points about brain health and different ways that you can slow the progression or prevent getting Alzheimer's disease. Number one, lifestyle factors. Adopting a healthy lifestyle can significantly contribute to brain health and reduce the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Factors such as regular physical activity, a balanced diet rich in antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acids, adequate sleep, stress management, and social engagement are all really important. Number two, cognitive stimulation. Keeping your brain mentally active through activities like reading, puzzles, learning new skills, engaging in intellectually stimulating conversations can help maintain cognitive function and possibly delay cognitive decline. My favorite thing to play every morning is Wordle. Number three, cardiovascular health. Cardiovascular health is closely linked to brain health. Conditions that affect the heart and blood vessels like hypertension, diabetes, and high cholesterol can increase the risk of cognitive decline, and Alzheimer's disease. Managing these conditions can have a positive impact on brain health. Number four, social engagement. Staying socially active and maintaining strong social connections has been associated with better cognitive function and a lower risk of cognitive decline. Social interactions help stimulate the brain and provide emotional support. Number five, brain boosting activities. Certain activities have been suggested to promote brain health. These include meditation, mindfulness exercises, learning a musical instrument, and engaging in creative pursuits. Number six, risk factors. While age is the most significant risk factor in Alzheimer's disease, other factors such as genetics, your family history, certain genetic mutations, and a history of traumatic brain injuries can also contribute to an increased risk. Number seven, early detection. That's where I come in. Early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease can help with managing symptoms and providing appropriate care. Memory problems, confusion, disorientation, and changes in behavior or personality are common early signs of Alzheimer's disease. Number eight, research and treatment. Research into Alzheimer's disease is ongoing with efforts focused on understanding its underlying mechanisms and developing effective treatments while there is no cure for Alzheimer's disease, some medications and interventions can help manage symptoms and slow its progression. Number nine, prevention strategies. While there is no guaranteed way to prevent Alzheimer's disease, adopting a healthy lifestyle that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, mental stimulation, and social engagement can help reduce your risk. Remember that maintaining brain health is a lifelong endeavor. Engaging in healthy habits and staying informed about the latest research can go a long way in promoting cognitive well-being and potentially reducing the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. If you or a loved one have concerns about cognitive health, contact me for a consultation to improve your brain health. Remember, it's about the quality of your years, not the quantity. Contact me at 251 949-2220, visit my website, lifewellnessforever.com, or shoot me an email, cindy at drcindyross.com. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Stay cool, and I'll see you next Monday.